Thank you for being here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the AGM of Westbrook Holdings Limited, a company listed on the Victoria Falls Stock Exchange. And just yesterday, we had our event at the Hills Luxury Lifestyle Estate in Harare, Zimbabwe, where we announced a 300 million US dollar development, the largest development not only in Zimbabwe today, but one of the largest developments on the continent of Sub-Saharan Africa. In fact, it is the first branded residences that we are bringing to the country, and the first branded residences in Sub-Saharan Africa. An estate of 82 hectares of beautiful, landscaped, US PGA Championship golf course. Where residents in that estate, living on 127 hectares, in 862 homes, can really feel a luxury in a, in a way that has never been seen or even heard of before in Zimbabwe. And today, by the grace of God, we are here, we've made it for one year, we are now one year old, we are still a baby crawling along the ground, but soon we're going to get up and start walking, and after that we'll be running. I am confident that this company is in good hands, our balance sheet speaks for itself, it's grown substantially since the last financial year end of 2022, and today the results of 2023 are being announced. But I must say, sitting here in May, in the second quarter of 2024, I am privy to have seen information of this year's growth, and I know by the end of 2024, our announcements in 2025 will show our balance sheet very close to 300 million US dollars. We are confident that we continue to build stability upon stability, growth upon growth, and we are confident in the future of our company and in the future of Zimbabwe. It's with great privilege that I now hand over the formalities of this meeting to our chairman, Dr. Michael Louis. Allow me firstly to welcome all of you as shareholders and allow me to welcome you as um, my board and the appreciation that you've got for the hard work that you've all done. And then for the C-suite, the members that are here, and then to the other shareholders that are all here. And I will now go over to the item number one, which is the financial statements of 2023 that you need to approve. Um, and that's for the year ending 31st of December 2023. And I will ask our financial director to formally just give you the highlights um, of the year. Simba, I hope you've got good news for the shareholders um, and for the meeting. So I'm going to ask you just to come and record some of the highlights of the year. As the finance director, I'm here to just give you highlights of our 2023 results. Our 2023 accounts have been audited by Grant Thornton and published on our website and the VFX website. You notice that our balance sheet grew by 40% due to property valuation. We had a 209% positive growth in terms of our cash flows. We closed the year with over 2.5 million in terms of cash resources. We had a 38% growth in sales. For the year 2022, we had 11.6 million sales, but 2023, we had 16 million sales, which was a very, very fantastic uh, achievement. Our major sources of cash flows were from operating activities, which are the collections from our data, and also we managed to plow back most of the cash flow into the projects. That's why you find we continue to break on how far we've come now in terms of our projects. I'm also happy to say that during the year, there was a dividend of 3.2 million, which was declared, and 2.2 million was paid, and we are to pay the balance at a date to be announced. When you get good results, there's no questions to be asked. I really believe that the directors have done an outstanding task um, in the past year, and I can off, um, really believe and tell you that each one brings a different skill to the table. There's no use just having names. And as a board, I can tell you that they bring the necessary skills to lead us into 2024. Members of this general meeting, it now allows me to 
formally present the audited statements of 2023. Financial Director, do you certify that these are the financial audited statements as that you've reported um, to, the, to the general meeting? I confirm. Thank you very much. So, colleagues, allow me as um, chair for our first meeting to say that this will go down in our history as personifying of our first meeting, also personifying the excellent results that we've had. I really believe that one of the great tasks that this company is going to have in the future is to educate um, individuals um, regarding our vision of 2050 to have a billion bricks, but that shareholders buy a brick. And so allow me to say God bless. Thank you very much for your support and look forward to seeing you in a year's time. I regard the meeting as closed.